Hey everyone, I hope you all had a great Christmas. Um, it is December 26th, Monday, and I am three and a half years out. Uh, surgery date was May 28th, 2013. Uh, so I wanted to come on and of course talk about getting back on track, just like every other weight loss surgery patient out there. Um, so I have, I think, if you watch my videos, maybe if you need a recap, if you don't watch my videos, I lost a total of 115 pounds at my lowest. Um, I am not at my lowest. <coughs> I'm about 20 pounds up from my lowest. Um, I am at the highest of my regain weight right now, which is 192. It seems like I fluctuate between 189 and 192 majority of the time at 189 and 190. <coughs> Excuse me, I do have a cold that I've been trying to get over for the last two weeks. So I have a little bit of a cough right now. So I, like, this does feel a little bit different this time because I truly feel like this is a temporary weight and that my weight is in the 170s. Um... I do have small goals, so I am, of course, it's a new year, so it's time to goal set. I haven't totally finalized the goals that I want for 2017, but just to give you a peek, I'm looking at doing 100 workouts minimum, so that equals out to about two a week, and give or take, so it makes you do more, so it makes you can't get in as many when you're maybe like what I am now, sick. So... That's probably going to be one of my goals. It's 100 workouts. I could go higher. I could go 150, but uh, I just want to keep that a reasonable. Well, for me, a year is a lot. A lot can happen in a year. A lot happened in 2016 for the good and for the bad. It all kind of leveled out. <clears throat> um, so that's going to be one of my goals. <coughs> I kind of have a little goal, well, it's like the big audacious, hairy, whatever goal, and that's lose 30 by the time I'm 30. That's really, I don't know if that's possible because I've never been at that weight. I've never once seen that weight. Um, my original goals post weight loss surgery was to get to 150 pounds and be a size 8. I am... I've never seen 150. That's not what I'm shooting for right now. Um, really, my goal is to get back in the 170s. I love to be in the low 170s like I was. Once I get there, I can go ahead and adjust. Uh, but as I said, I have a lot of like small goals before then. So I just turned 29, so that's where 30 before I'm 30 came in. Uh, there was some other things I wanted to do before I was 30, like go to Europe, and I actually went this year. So that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I've caught everyone up, so I went to Iceland in November, and I went to London and Paris in December for my around my birthday time, so that was really, really cool, um, totally a, a moment, like, it was a big experience for me to leave North America, I've gone to Mexico and Canada, but I've never gone to outside of North America, so it was really cool. Um... I do have some runs coming up, so I have the Star Wars light side in January. I am not trained up for it. I thought it was going to be amazing. I first started out with training. I was doing so well. Weather turned to shit. It was harder to run. Like, even today, I was like, oh, I'm going to go shopping and meet up with a friend, and then I'll go run. Yeah, it is pouring outside right now. That was dumb of me, because it was really nice this morning. Um, so, yeah, 2017, I... My goal is to get to the 170s well before WSFA. WSFA is 21 weeks away, and that would mean about 20 or one pound per week. That seems doable. I don't think I will stay in the 190s for very long. Uh, I tend, like, the second I get on track, I'm back in the 180s. Um, so I'm not too worried about, yeah, yeah, it says 192 this morning, but also. I have had a lot of salt, a lot of sugar, a lot of carbs, um, and a lot of overindulgence. I would say this last year I was much more 
aware of what I was eating and how much. Um, I wasn't the best at working out. That's where probably <clears throat> the year prior, <coughs> I don't think I was focused as much on what I was eating, but I was more focused on working out. Um, but I did gain a ton in year two. Like, year two is where the weight gain came from. It was not um, this year at all. This year, I'm probably going to cut, like, three pounds, maybe. Um, but I'm looking at totally erasing all that before I hit my four-year mark in May. Um, I have thought about doing keto for quite a while. I think I've mentioned it if I ever upload videos. I'm still thinking about it. Initially, to get back on track, really, it's it's really back to basics. It's protein first, veggies, um, tracking, taking vitamins, hydrating, getting in some exercise. I did buy, um, this is actually the Nike edition of the Apple Watch. I just have a different band on right now. It's more to match my clothes that I'm wearing. Um, so it does track laps for swimming. It tracks all kinds of workout. So I did buy it for working out to motivate myself to do a little bit more working out. Um, today I'm going to, so I already did some grocery shopping. I just need to go ahead and do the actual food prep. I am also going to get my gym bags ready and start plotting out what workouts I'll do and have some options in case I don't feel like doing one. Um, I am also, <coughs> we'll probably do a separate video. But I got a uh, planner and we'll be tracking my fitness. So it is, it's like super, super cute. Um, right now it's like the seasonal one. So that is more for like regular everyday life. But then there's also a fitness one. So you like put little stickers on it and it's, I probably shouldn't be doing this because I probably should do a separate video. Either way, I have listened here for meal prep ideas, um, and then further in the back, I have uh, my goal list. So my goal list has, I haven't added everything, I probably need to go through and do a little bit more of this today, but I did add in my mini goals for my weight loss. So as you see like 185, 183, 180, 178, 175, so on, to 168. So I will do a separate video that talks more about this and how I'm going to use it uh, coming up. I also would like to get back to doing videos and talk about what's going on, hold myself a little bit more accountable. <laughs> Apologize for the coffee that has to be so lovely to be listening to. Um, I can't think of what else to share with you. So yeah, stats, I'm 192 right now. Uh... 21 weeks away from WSFA, would like to get down to 172 by WSFA, I'd be okay if I was 175, but um, I think it's totally manageable, it doesn't seem like, yeah, I've been wanting to do it for a while, but if I just focus, like, I think the thing is I can't think like, oh, I can still eat this, and I can have this, and I can have this, um, that's where it's different from when we're at the honeymoon phase to where we are now we just can't do that stuff in the honeymoon phase yeah you could eat a Reese's and you were still gonna lose four pounds um it's a little bit harder to do that now you have to work out a little bit more you have to reduce more calories if you're gonna do that so that's what's going on I will try to make updates as much as I can if there's anything you guys want to know please let me know um I will also try posting some food pics on Facebook, and on Instagram. Okay, bye. Have a great new year if I don't see anyone until then.